Visible Body is a fully interactive 3D anatomy tool that is revolutionizing the study of human anatomy. This video will take a closer look at the main menu, navigation, and commonly used features. The main menu is located along the left side of the screen. Use it to load hundreds of preset views organized by body system or region. The menu opens to the skeletal system and displays dozens of skeletal system thumbnails. If I click on the regional tab, I've switched sections. Notice that the thumbnails changed. I now see thumbnails for dozens of regional views that I can launch. The regional section has a second page of thumbnails. Access it by clicking either the arrow or the link in the upper right hand corner. To launch any view, click on its thumbnail. I'm choosing view number 55, the view named Shoulder 4. Zooming, panning, or rotating the 3D anatomy is simple. To zoom in or out, grab the zoom slider and drag it right or left. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, scroll up to zoom in and down to zoom out. To pan, use the arrows around the virtual joystick or depress your mouse's scroll wheel and drag it in the desired direction. To rotate the models, click, hold and drag the virtual joystick. You can also rotate by holding down the left mouse button while dragging. Visible Body's controls let you interact with each anatomical structure on screen. Click on the scapula to select it. The selected structure highlights in blue, its name appears in the upper left breadcrumb trail, and its definition appears in the pane on the lower left. To select more than one structure at a time, hold down the keyboard shift key while clicking on the structures. Notice that this view launches with some muscles in a faded, transparent state. I can still select these structures and get information about them. I can also select structures I see behind these faded muscles. I'm holding down the keyboard T key, then using my mouse to click through the infraspinatus to select the scapula. The scapula appears in blue, its name is in the breadcrumb trail, and its definition is in the menu pane. Each anatomical structure in visible body can be viewed as a solid object, a transparent faded object, or can be hidden from view. When objects are selected, additional on-screen buttons appear below the joystick. Clicking the Fade button makes the selected scapula transparent. Pressing V on the keyboard also does this. To change the scapula back to solid, click the Show button. If I use the Hide button or press the H key on the keyboard, the scapula is hidden. Since I have not made any other selections, the scapula remains the selected item and its name is still in the breadcrumb trail. If I click Show, the scapula appears back on screen. If I hide the scapula, then a few other structures, I can use the Refresh View button to reset all anatomical structures to how they appeared when I first launched the view. Let's say I wanted to study the scapula relative to structures around it, but with few obstructions. I can select the scapula and then click on the button Fade Others. All unselected objects become transparent. To remove all obstructions, I click the Hide Others button. I now have an isolated view of the scapula. I'll reset this view, then select the triceps. Visible Body has two ways to add structures to any view, the search button in the main menu and the breadcrumb trail on screen. If I want to add more musculature, I can simply click further up the breadcrumb trail and add groups of muscles. I'll show this again with the skeletal system. View 13, Skull Anterior. If I want to add the brain to this view, I can type brain into the search field. I get a list of relevant structures in the search results. Once I click on Add, the brain appears on screen. Because the skull is solid, the view is obstructed. To fix that, I select the parietal bone, then use the breadcrumb trail to select the group cranium and click on the fade button. The brain is now more visible. I'm going to reset this view to show another way to add the brain and get a clearer view. Again, I am typing brain into the search field, but now I select go to instead of add from the search results. This go to button adds the brain, makes everything else in the view transparent, and zooms in. With a few quick strokes, I've created a custom view. The new visible body provides thousands of structures and hundreds of views and definitions that enhance learning and teaching anatomy. For more information and for a complete list of keyboard shortcuts, click on the help icon in the main menu. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial.